Hey y'all, it's me and it is time for another update. Hope you're not getting too tired of me. I know I just posted a video um, the other day about what I eat in a day, so um, sorry if you're getting tired of seeing my face, but here I am for my weekly update. And today um, is my week 21 post-op gastric bypass surgery. And um, so I'll just get into the numbers. Uh, last week I weighed 207. And this week I weighed 204. So that is a week's loss of three pounds and a total loss since my surgery of 69 pounds. I am thrilled with those numbers. I'm, I'm surprised by the three. Um, I kind of was figuring that weight loss was slowing down entirely and that I would probably never see anything over maybe a one, maybe a two, so a three pound loss this week is really appreciated, I guess. Um, and then I'm almost to 70 pounds loss, guys, which is just fantastic. And then not only that, I am almost below 200 pounds. And I cannot tell you the last time I was under 200 pounds. Um, I don't know. It's, it's been, it has been a long time. So I am, there's a lot of really big kind of mile markers coming up in my weight loss and that's just extremely exciting. And I actually never thought this was possible. Um, when I originally, the book that I use, and I showed you guys before, the book I used to just keep track of my weekly progress, my notes, stuff I want to talk about, things like that. Um, I had originally beginning of the year, this year, um, like February, March, April, somewhere in there, I had kind of come up with these goals. And um, I wanted to be, by New Year's, I wanted to have lost 65 pounds. Um, I've already beat that, and I still have, I have two more months before New Year's. Um, so I'm kind of out of my goals, which is one of the topics I was going to talk about today. Um, but I'll get there in a second. So um, I just never thought this was possible. And I'm just every day thrilled and excited and extremely grateful that I was able to have this surgery. Um, okay, so the other day I was getting dressed and my husband was in there. And he kind of was watching me get dressed. And he said, you know, you could be done losing weight now if you want it to be. What? I was just so surprised that he said that. Um I have a really good husband. Um, I have a husband who has been with me through all of my many sizes I have been, and he has loved me regardless of the size. And I mean, at my heaviest, I really was not attractive. My body was not attractive. And um, the fact that he still loved me through that is pretty, um, I think it's pretty special. Um, so, and he wasn't he wasn't saying that it's, uh, that I need to stop necessarily. He was just saying, you know, you look normal, you know, you don't, your body looks good, you're, we've been laughing all week because, um, I don't remember where we were, but he was like, you know, you're, you're starting to look like what you did when we were in high school, you know, and I, and it's true, I truly am, like, starting to look more and more like what I did when I was younger, and that's really fun, um, to see that again, so, no, I'm not done losing weight yet, um, but it was really nice to hear him say, you know, you, you, you look good now, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily, if you didn't lose another pound, you would be perfect how you are, and that was really sweet, um, and I, and at some point I agree with him, because I do feel, I feel normal, you know, I don't feel like the biggest person in the room anymore, and most of the time, I'm not the biggest person in the room anymore, um, I'm still big. Um, I'm still over 200 pounds, and that's, for me, that is still a little too big. Um, but I do. I'm starting to feel normal, and I am I'm I feel like if somebody was trying to point me out in a crowd, I don't think that the words that they would use would be, you know, the big girl or the heavy one. Um, I don't think those are words that are associated with me anymore, which is hard to believe because those have always been the words associated with me. You know, the big girl, the chubby one, um, 
that's always been me. So it's it's interesting that I'm changing, um, but very exciting. Uh, so this week with food, I've been doing really well. Haven't had any problems. Um, we did go out once or twice the past week, and I did stick to just eating salads, and that was perfect. It worked. It worked wonderful. I enjoyed going out. I enjoyed not having to clean or cook. Um, I was able to enjoy just the you know, the restaurant experience and had a salad and I felt great and was ready to go, um, you know, after that. So that works. That seems to work really well for me. Um, okay. So I guess we'll get to the point where I was going to talk about goals and my next goal, and I'm going to write these down eventually, but my next goal is um, I would love to be able to say that I've lost 75 pounds by the time I go to Georgia to see my husband's family, um, which isn't that far away. That would actually put me, I believe, right under 200 pounds. Um, that's still, what is it? Is it three weeks? I think it's three weeks away. So I, I think this is a reasonable goal. I don't think it's too far-fetched. I don't think it's like asking to lose 15 pounds by then. You know, it's, what, roughly five six, six, five, six pounds, which I think is okay for a three week period. Um, so that's kind of my next goal. Um, but my long term goals, I am, I'm wrestling with them and I'm trying to figure out what is my goal? What is my, what is my ultimate goal with this weight loss surgery? Is it a number? Am I going towards a number? Am I going towards a size? Is that my goal? Is a size a pair of, you know, the size of jean I wear or the size of shirt I have, is that my goal? Um, is it a feeling? Is it when I feel like I'm okay, like I'm done? That is that my goal? Is it my BMI? Is it what other people tell me? You know, when people start telling me that I look good or that I look normal, is that my goal? Um, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what my ultimate goal is. Um, I, I've talked about it before. My my smallest weight ever um, was my during high school, kind of junior, senior year, and then into college. And my my lowest weight I've ever been was 100, roughly 140, 145 pounds. And I've said this before too. I have I did not get to that weight in a healthy way. Um, you know. And looking back at pictures of when I what I look like at 140, 145 pounds, I looked really frail. You know, I didn't look healthy. Um, it just seemed like it was too small. It seemed like it was too little. And, you know, so there's part of me that says I want to be 140 pounds again because that was my smallest weight ever. Um, is it a healthy weight? I don't know. You know, and that's that's what that's what I'm struggling with, guys. And I don't know what's you guys' ultimate goal when it comes to weight loss surgeries or, or weight loss in general. What's your goal? Is it a number? Is it a size? What is what? How have, how did you determine your goal? So then another part of me says, okay, well, if 140 is too small, then what about 150? That's that's an average size woman. You know, that's good. Um, I'm 5'8", so I'm a pretty tall girl, and um, probably 150 pounds would look good. And, you know, and then I think, okay, I got married, and I weighed 160 pounds. And I thought I looked great at 160 pounds. So, what's my goal? Is it a number? Is it that number on a scale that finally says, okay, you're done. You've, been a, you've had a successful surgery, and you're good. I don't know. Um... So that's kind of what I've been working with this week, guys, is that I'm trying to find an ultimate goal. Um, I want to know that I've arrived there when I get there. You know, I don't want to always be having this number that I'm never going to achieve or this idea in my head that's just never going to work. Um, I, want a, I want a realistic goal. And I find that with this surgery, I feel like I've become more... Um, I don't know, level-headed in my in my approach to weight loss before. It was just this frantic, crazy, um, I've got to lose weight, I've got to lose weight, I've got to get to this number. Um, but now I realize 
I don't know if it's a number, guys. I don't know if my goal is truly a number on a scale. Um, and then the other thing I've been thinking about is what is that driving force behind your goal? When, Like I said, I part of me feels like I want to be 140. And then I kind of think about it and I, I've asked myself today, why? Why do you want to be 140? What is it about 140 that you really want to set as your goal? And then I get thinking about it, I get digging into it, and I realize, I don't know. I, I realize it's because that was my smallest weight ever. And there's a part of me that feels like that's what I should be. But I wasn't healthy at 140. My mind was not in the right place at 140. And does that mean that my mind can't be in the right place this time around? Definitely not. I, I think I think I've changed. I'm not I'm not that kid anymore. Um, who just wants to be the smallest size possible. I will never be a size zero, y'all, ever. Um, and that's okay. I don't have to be a size zero. I am not a petite woman. Um, I have never been a petite woman, and I will never be one. But I can still be a healthy woman, and I can be, um, I can be a fit woman, you know? And that's, to me, that's better than being skinny, you know? So anyways, I know I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but I've just been doing like a lot of deep digging into what are my goals? Um, when is weight loss done? When am I done with weight loss? And then move into that phase of maintenance. When do I get there? You know, so I don't know. I just kind of want to throw that out for you guys to think about this week too is what is your ultimate goal with this with the surgery that we've had and your weight loss, whether you've had weight loss surgery or not. I mean, I think we're all working towards trying to lose weight. So what is your ultimate goal? And what is your driving force behind that goal? Why your goal that you set, why do you want it? And if you have, you know, I feel like if you have good concrete reasons for that goal, then that goal's perfect. And that's a wonderful um, thing to try to achieve. But if you're you know, if those goals or those driving forces behind your goals are kind of questionable, then maybe your goal is a little questionable too. And so that's kind of, that's where I'm at right now, guys, is I'm trying to figure out what is my goal and what is a realistic goal? What is a healthy goal for me? So that's what I'm going to be working through the next couple of weeks. Um, if I ever come to a good conclusion, I definitely will share it with you guys. Um, yeah, so that's kind of all I wanted to talk about. This, this, the next couple of months are going to be crazy busy. With um, the next thing coming up is I'm planning a yard sale, a garage sale. So if y'all are in Florida, let me know and you can come, come to my yard sale. But I am getting rid of all of my plus size clothes, and it feels nice to be able to do that. Um, to know that I will never be a plus size woman again. And not that there is anything wrong with being a plus size woman, but for me, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I'm not going to be a plus size woman anymore. So I'm getting together the yard sale stuff, and I've got um, Thanksgiving coming up and going to Georgia and Christmas and Christmas parties and things like that. And it's fun that this year, for the first time, I don't have to worry about the food issue, that that's not... I'm not going to gain 10 and 15 and even 20 pounds over the holidays this year. I'm going to continue to lose weight for the first time in my life. Over the holidays, I'll be losing weight. So that's pretty exciting. Anyways, guys, that's all I had to say this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And um, just keep making those good choices. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.